Well, gentlemen, it may look like an ordinary house in Beano Town, but your research shows it's sitting on the richest oil deposit in the country. We're gonna buy the place up and make me a fortune. The house belongs to a family unit, sir. Just a bunch of little people. There'll be no match for the slickest oil company in the business. Oh, yeah! Yes. <laughs> Let's hope the green and friendly pressure group don't beat us this time, eh, sir? Huh? Uh, uh, they won't. They won't. Uh, I said they won't. The green and friendly pressure group can do nothing. There are no cabbage-friendly snails to save this time. Just a little house and little people. Do you know what we're going to do with them? Uh, no. Throw them in the trash! Dennis! You need a bath! You haven't had one for ages. But, Mum, I'm holding a garage sale of all my old stuff. Pieface is waiting outside. Well, you'd better have a bath pronto, then. <laughs> It'll do you good. If water does you good, then why do people carry umbrellas? Ah! There's a spider in the bath! We'll save your mum! Quick, Nasha! <coughs> Never underestimate your mum. <coughs> oh, mum! There's a good boy. I've always wanted to live in this area, and your house is so beautifully positioned. Yes, well, we like it. And so quiet, too. Oh, no, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> That's our son having a bath. He's very keen on cleanliness. Yes. <laughs> Yuck! You call that coffee? Quick, Nasha, save your fleas! <laughs> oh, yuck! What dirty water! That's the last time I bathed with you. Uh, so, how much do you want for it? Um, for what? For the house, of course! Oh, I see. But I'm afraid it's not for sale. Want a bargain, eh? I like that in a man. I'll offer you five times its value divided by ten, and that's my sneakiest offer. Or are you just a lodger? I paid for this house fair and square, and here's the deed of ownership to prove it. Oh, yeah? Uh, oh, 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 uh, well. <laughs> well, sorry to have troubled you. Good day. So much for the direct approach. What a strange old lady. She wanted to buy our house. Well... I hope you told her it's not for sale. It's our home. Of course I did, Mum. And I have a certificate to prove it, which I'll hang on one of our many walls. Now, at last we can join Pipe Base for our toy sale. Good, <laughs> <laughs> two baths in one day. Without this certificate, Dennis, you'd have no house to bath in. Think yourself lucky. There. That should dry it out. Shall I return your wife's wig and coat to the wardrobe, sir? Why bother? She's got hundreds of each, and they're all the same. Time to get sneaky. I love it when they're stupid. 
Give me your glasses. <laughs> what kept you, then? Oh, don't ask. Keep an eye on the stall, Pie Face. I'll be down in a minute with some more stuff. OK, then. You can trust me. Hello, little boy. Huh? Hello, big person. Impressive display. And so wet. Yeah, <laughs> that was Dennis's idea. Do you have any old certificates propped up to dry by a window? Like that one? Uh... Wow! It's your lucky day. We've got one left. <laughs> right. This is the last lot. Let's hope Pipeface has managed to sell something. Nice. Mission completed. Activate Operation Oil Strike. Done any business, Pie Face? Not half, then. I swapped a bit of old paper for this. An old lady's wig? What bit of old paper? Uh, it was stuck on the windowsill over there. <gasps> You've sold our house for an old lady's wig? Oh, come on, Den. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. I got a coat and gloves as well. Oh. oh! It's all right. He said his wife had hundreds of them. What's going on? Oh! oh. I just bought myself an oil field. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. It's all legal. Big laugh, guys! <laughs> How did he buy my certificate? How did we lose our house? Uh, how we lost the house isn't important, Dad. <laughs> what is important is how we get it back. Oh, don't worry, Dad. Behind every cloud, there's a silver lining. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. no. <laughs> emergency bedroom, now ready for emergency people. Follow me. Oh, that's us. Find the trip wires! <laughs> no harm done. Just a smoke canister. Stops burglars making a mess of the place, don't you know? Follow me! What? <laughs> Follow my boys! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One spare bedroom! Indoor tents? And here's a recent photocopy of a log fire. Oh, it's still warm. Need anything else? Just make an owl call. Tents? To wit, to woo. Thanks for everything. My pleasure, ma'am. Oh. Looks like he's moving all his henchmen into our house. Thank you, sir. You, leave the yes man under the window. How's that? That's fine. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How good is the oil? Mm, can't tell yet, sir. It's too thick to get under the microscope. That's great. The thicker, the better. Ha! Well, at least we have a roof over our heads. Yeah, we're under attack. It's coming from over here. Oh, 
What's going on? My favorite CD! Military explosions! All-time greatest hits and misses! So soothing! <laughs> Sleep well! Boom! Bam! Bam! Wait for it. Nasha, but tomorrow we're going home. <laughs> Hold still, Nasha. This disguise cost us our house. Let's see if it helps us get our own back on Katzenberger oil. <sighs> Morning. Go away. How dare you! I am Mr. Clint Katzenberger's wife. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, madam. Um, I'd better go away. <laughs> Do you know who I am? I am... <laughs> Mrs. Katzenberger, what an honor. Eh? How did you know? Oh, I'd recognize that fine coat and wig anywhere. Oh, uh, did I say wig? Oh, oh, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Look, I don't have much time. But you look so healthy. What I want to know is, what could possibly go wrong with my husband's plan? The green and friendly pressure group know nothing. No endangered wildlife can close down this site. Endangered wildlife, eh? No, not this time. We can dig all we want. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. Honey, you've come visit. Turn around, darling, and give your hubby a big, smoochy, wet kiss. Uh, uh. Don't keep me waiting now. <laughs> wow, that was. Give me back that certificate. Try, kid, but I win again. Really big laugh, guys. <laughs> and then he threw me out. Your own home as well, then. Huh? <laughs> Until I sold it. <laughs> Sorry, then. What do we do now? The Green and Friendly Pressure Group. Who? They are the only people who have ever stopped Katzenberger. You told them about the Green and Friendly Pressure Group? Well done. It was me. 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 It it. This is one oil strike that they are powerless to stop. There are no endangered species here, except you guys. <laughs> Meet our endangered species! Ta-da! But Nasha isn't endangered. Uh, you don't mean me, do you, Dan? Yeah, of course not. Show them, Nasha. Just like we practice, lads. Save our home! Save our home! We need a dog and he needs a garden! The rare and soon-to-be-endangered a 
Abyssinian tripound fleet. Oh! Nasha and I will get the fleas into our front garden. If things go well, Katzenberger will soon be the endangered one. Good luck, then. We'll meet you at the front of your house. says that I make a mess. Fifty barrels of oil and it's only Monday. Load up the truck. Right, Mr Katzenberger, sir. Have you found out how good the oil is yet? We're still trying to thin it out. I've never seen anything like it. Time to get our house back. We want something to protest about. We want some... Hello. Green and friendly. Have I got a cause for you? We want something to protest about. Crack up with the marker pens. We've, We've got, got a hot, hot one. one. Time to act our age, Nasha. Ah! Familiar, like that stupid family's coffee. Uh, who's that? Save the tripod, please, please. Save the tripod. Save the what? Save the Show him, Nasha. Prepare for the protest. Protect the fleas. Protect them with this! Oil <laughs> Baron attacks endangered fleas! <sighs> Give it back, lads! At the double! <laughs> Please attack Oil Baron! Ooh. Yes! Give me three, Nasha! <laughs> Start the truck! Man the defences! Yes, sir! Has the whole town gone mad? <laughs> what do I care? I have my oil! I've completed the test, sir! It isn't oil! What? What? There must have been a leak under the house. It's dirty, incredibly dirty, bath water! Whoops! <laughs> dirty bath water? But my executives told me... Katzenberger saved me a fortune in plumbing bills by cleaning it all out for us. And the green and friendly pressure group shall restore your garden to its former beauty. Oh, thank you. That's... Uh, that's... Uh, very friendly of you. Yes! My certificate. Fetch a hammer and nail, Nasher. We're back where we started. Having a bath could be more trouble than it's worth, eh, Nasher? <laughs> oh, 
This is terrible, just terrible. We'll never win first prize in tomorrow's dog show if you keep doing clever things like that. <coughs> I know it's difficult for you, Nasha, but you must try to act like an ordinary dog. Just for one day. <coughs> Good. Now, let's try it again. Sit. <coughs> Lay dead. <coughs> If I didn't know any better, I'd think you didn't want us to win that super sound system. It's the first prize in the dog show. Ooh. How about pointing? Come on, like this. Great point, Nasha. But the wrong way. What use is a pointer with no sense of direction? <sighs> and as your headmaster, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce this 13th annual dog show open. <laughs> You, dog in the back, stop barking! So, without any further ado, let's find out who's going to take home this single the art sound system with Doberman in Logic Karaoke! Me and Nasha can beat anyone! Except me and my dog Fufu. Or me and my dog Polly. Uh, Pie Face, that's not a dog, it's a parrot. Well, yeah, uh, but it does impressions. Whoa. What? That's cheating! You're disqualified! Ooh. I hope they're not this tough at the cat show. By the way, Dennis, is that a dog? Or did you decide to take the trash out for a walk? Pedal off, poodle boy. Nasha is the doggiest dog in the contest. And just to make sure, I've brought along a little incentive. <laughs> A tasty tripound treat for every trick performed like an ordinary dog. Cool, <sighs> yuck. Uh, they might smell horrible, but I know it's the scent of victory. Dogs, heal. <laughs> Dogs, sit. Really average. <laughs> now, know how to handle the obstacle course, right? Yeah, yeah. Go! Oh dear. Maybe you should cut down on these treats. Big and big and new than you. The Pleasant Park Mega Ball opens for you. A new shopping mall? In our town? I never noticed anybody building one. It's, it's got, got miles of miles and billions of bargains. I've got to get down there. I'm going to shop till I drop. Come on, Dennis. Let's check it out. I'll be with you in just a minute. Now, that's not fair. I want to go too. You dogs, sit and stay. Nasha, you stay too and look after them. I'll check out the Mega Mall, then report back.
Welcome to the Mega Mall. Have a nice shop. Have a nice shop indeed. There's nothing quite like the bait of a brand new Mega Mall to lure in the local yokels and their teenagers. They will shock till they drop, all right. Drop to their knees and obey my every command. <laughs> you? Hey, who am I talking to? Everyone is welcome here. Everyone except you. And what's wrong with me? No dogs allowed. I'm not a dog. That's debatable, but they definitely are. I thought I told you to stay. They don't belong to me. <laughs> now him, he belongs to me. Well, you can only come in if you leave that outside. Oh, what's more important? A boy's best friend or a brand new shopping mall? Well... Oh, give me a moment. Oh, no. Soppy puppy look number 23. Gets me every time. You can keep your rotten mega mall. Come on, Nasha. Let's go and hang out around the small shops. Sit and stay. And this time I mean it. OK? I don't want to catch you moving. You're lucky to have caught me, Dennis. I was closing early. Doesn't anyone want tools today, Mr O'Toole? Nobody wants anything from the old shops today. God, see. Nice one. Everyone's too busy spending their money in that brand new shopping centre. It's Mum and Dad. Look at all the amazing bargains we've just bought in the Mega Mall. I can't wait to get back to buy even more stuff. Stuff is right. A motorised sock rack. Left-handed pencils. Little lawnmowers for window boxes? What's gotten into you? Life will be so much easier with these wonderful new innovations. I must withdraw all our savings and buy more. We must buy lots more. There's something strange going on at that mall, Nasha. And we're going to find out what. Come on, Nasha. The truth is in here. Nice. I knew it. We can crawl along these ducts, just like in the movies. <laughs> you can say that again. Pearly, I love this thing. Me too, pie face. What is it? I have no idea, but I need another seven. Let's go home and smash our piggy banks. Then we can buy one of those automatic piggy bank smashers. Perhaps they will take my parrot in part exchange. Ah! Parrot exchange! Well, Nasha. It looks like you and I are the only sane people left in this town. <laughs> I hear it too. <laughs> this is all the work of your standard evil villain. Or maybe not so standard villain. <laughs> they said I was mad, you know. They laughed at me. Red's trademark, the world's greatest inventor. 
And all because I tried to make the world a more practical place with my gadgets. Ah, my latest invention, the fold-out friend. You never tire of hearing my story, do you? They scoffed when I invented the chocolate fire guard. They chortled when I came up with the fly-friendly foam fly swatter. And they spat out their soup when I introduced this, the toothless comb for bald men. But it is I who will have the last laugh. <laughs> Secret plan divulging should begin about... If the world won't willingly buy my inventions... Now? Then I will force them to... With this! Through the mixing of hypnotic suggestions with mindless male music, I can make the public do anything I please. They might think they're listening to the soothing sound of Muzak, but in fact... Buy, buy, lots of my inventions. Give me all your money. And when I've sucked this town dry of spare change, I'll move my mobile mal onto the next town, and the next, and the next, until the entire world is far more practical, and I am very, very rich. Nasha, we've got to do something. Jump down there and chew up that tape. Give me all your money. Oh, I wish I had fed you so many tri pound treats. Whoa! It was fun. I wouldn't mind going round again. Uh, can't fight it. Must obey. Must buy. <laughs> Useless gizmos. I knew I saw a dog. Dogs are the only creatures who cannot hear my control signal. Capture that security breach. <laughs> Wing, screen, wipers for sunglasses. I need three of these. Sorry. <laughs> Blasted clockwork henchmen. They do save money on batteries, but oh, they wind me up. Now bring me that dog! <laughs> I'll buy two. Yes! need a cookery book with a built-in laser tin opener. Where... where am I? Oh, how lovely. I wake up from a dream about shopping, and look! <laughs> I am shopping. Oh, Nasha? Uh-oh. My tape! He's eating my tape! Nice one, Nasha. Give me three. <laughs> Those clockwork clowns are after us. Run, Nasha! Grab him. He's a sad lad. I'm sad. 
You're the one whose only friend is made out of cardboard. I'll tell him you said that. Better move to another town, Mr Weirdo. This one's got Dennis in it. Get him, boys! No, oh, not again. Where's my wind-up key? Where's my wind-up key finder? Nasha, I think it's time to act our age. <laughs> On your right, a pile of useless junk. On your left, Reggie Boy trying to escape. Hang on! Aha! My umbrella hat! Not so good in the rain, but great for stormy situations! Jump, Nasha! <laughs> Grab him, Nasha! Yeah! That's what friends are for! Boy and his dog. How ironic. Because now it's time to go walkies! <laughs> You've destroyed my plan. Now I'll destroy your town! shop that comes to you. What will they think of next? Crash, crash, crashity crash. Crash! How did you escape? I never thought I'd say it, but these cookery books with built-in laser tin openers really are useful. Curse it! Filed by my own invention! Did you know suet is a most versatile foodstuff? Really? Yeah. It is! Now stop this thing or I'll fold your friend and tear along the creases. See if I care. All my friends are disposable anyway. <laughs> now I want you to trample your friends. But I can't steer this thing. <laughs> Let go, you Nasha, you come back here. Aha! I think I've got the hang of this. Hang on, Nasha. I'm coming to save you! <laughs> Dennis, this is no time for syncopation! Emergency. Nasha, would you care to do the honours? of yours. I could fix that so it also makes pasta. Well done, Dennis and Natasha. Though it's hard to believe you've actually saved the day. We would have given you that fantastic sound system as a reward, but we can't seem to find it at the moment. That's all right. There's only one sound I want to hear from now on. Dash, dash! Exactly. Who needs average dogs when you've got Nasha? Come on, boy. <laughs> <laughs>